Hello, hello, BAM fam. It is a very merry Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020. And here's what you missed. A good lab procedure, procedure consists of using the scientific method and trying to be exact when experimenting so that you don't have incorrect results. When an experiment is designed, a key assumption is that the experiment will be repeated many times by other scientists so that it can be verified. In the publishing process, scientists must be able to write clear descriptions of the steps of their experiments so that others may be able to follow and repeat it. Purpose. Can you write a procedure that can be repeated by someone else? Procedure. Assume you are writing a procedure for brushing teeth for someone who has never brushed their teeth before. Wow. Five minutes later. I rinse my toothbrush. I put water in a cup. Put toothpaste on my brush. Start brushing. Spit out whatever that thing comes after and spit it out. I rinse my mouth. Wash my mouth on whatever is around my mouth. I wash my face. I drink some water, wash my face, and then dry out my face. And that's it. First, wet the toothbrush. Then put your toothpaste on the toothbrush. Don't put too much. Then wet again and start brushing the outside of your teeth on the left for about 30 seconds. Then do the top and the bottom of the teeth for 30 seconds. Repeat these steps on the right and then repeat these steps on your front teeth. Then brush your tongue up and down in up and down motions for 30 seconds and try to get the back of your tongue too. Then you gargle up the water in your mouth to rinse out the toothpaste. Then you clean your toothbrush with water and then you can use mouthwash and floss to make sure everything is out. Vote one, two or three in the chat. Which procedure do you think we should nominate to be dispersed to the people who have never brushed their teeth? Yeah, I'm ready for direction number one. What do I do? Okay, so one, wet the toothbrush. Like that? <laughs> no. You said wet it. What part do I wet? The top of it, where the like thingies are. Oh, like just this part? Yes. Okay. I'm wetting it. Leah, for how long do I wet it? Um, for like one second. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm ready for part two then, I think. Okay. Should I, should I leave that on? Um, yeah. Leave that on, okay, okay. Okay, go ahead. Part two. So, part two, put your toothpaste on the toothbrush. Do not put too much. Like that? No, the toothpaste that's in the bottle. How do you I open open up the, You open up the toothpaste and you put it in on the toothbrush. Like that. You, you squirt it. Okay. How much? When do I stop? Um, you need to stop. Don't okay. put too much. Okay. There's stop. Now what? Leah, what do I do? Now you wet the brush again. Like that? <laughs> no, like the first time. You put the bristles. Oh. You, you, you put the toothpaste under it. Oh, okay. So like that. Now what? And then you start to brush the outside of your teeth on the left for 30 seconds. And then on the same side, you do the top of those teeth and the bottom of those teeth. For how long? For 30 seconds. And then you repeat the exact same steps on the right. Now what? Now you do the same steps on your front teeth. How long? For 30 seconds. Now you spit out the extra toothpaste and then you brush your, your tongue up and down for 30 seconds. Wait, I do what? I write it out? In the in the sink. Oh, I'll go back on the floor for you to know me. Okay, now what? Um and, and then you um you um you brush your your tongue up and down for 30 seconds. Like uh -huh. an up and down motion. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now what? Now you
now you spit it out again, and then you take water, you put it in your mouth, in, in the sink, in the yeah. sink, and then <laughs> you put water in your mouth, like you put it in your hand, and then you can put it in your mouth, and then you gargle up the okay. thing and clean up the outside of your mouth. Okay, so put my hand in the water. I put it in my mouth. The water, but don't drink it. Only okay. use it to gargle. <laughs> Put in there that you had to um open up the cap for the toothpaste. I had to fix almost all of my procedures <laughs> when I was doing the spit out part. I had to write in the sink. After I wrote, first I take out my toothbrush and wash it. I didn't write wash it with water. If I don't wash it with water, the person might wash it with something else. It reminds me of coding when you have to code your player to do something to get to a destination or something. You have to put the right amount of like specific arrows because then they're gonna fall into a wall or they're gonna bump into a wall, they're gonna fall in the water. And Nevaeh was like the player and she had to control you, but she didn't use enough detail. So that's what I was thinking as it. Uh. I told my older brother to put my phone to charge and he plugged my phone on the charger, but they didn't put like, the charger in the wall. Once we learn something, it's already embedded in us and we just repeat that action over and over again without thinking about all of the ways in which somebody might find a step in our process that's unclear. I noticed that you have to be really specific, you know, really detailed. Uh -huh.